Oh, I got video in there. Yeah, you gotta video yourself. Why are you taking pictures? Because I didn't have my camera out, I had my thing out. What is that? My video camera. Yeah. You don't like my video camera? Hey, Pumpkin. How you doing? You want a biscuit? No pictures. Can you screen capture me? How's the video quality? Pretty damn, amazingly good. How amazingly good are we talking about, sir? As I drink my woo woo. Pretty good. <laughs> Hey, sir, I'm hoping we don't throw six interceptions because if we do, I'm just going to slice my wrist and get a lucky dog while I'm at it. So, what's, what's your name, sir? My name? Yeah. Bubba. Bubba Wayne. Where are you from? Memphis, Tennessee. You from Memphis? Why, why are you in New Orleans today? I'm in New Orleans to watch Sylvester Krim in his final year. Do you have any predictions for the ball game? I think it's going to be 17-14 Mississippi State. Any turnovers? Plenty. We're the Bulldogs. How many interceptions? Two. Two. That's a tight prediction. Last week we were playing a good secondary. So, all right, baby, it's going to slice. Too late. <laughs> Y'all take care. Have a good one. Appreciate it. Right, He's out of control. control. Tulane is not as good as the secondary as LSU. And unless Mississippi State has one too many woo-woos from the night before, we should be able to compete in this. But, you know, there's a lot of question marks with the season because we opened up with the number two team in the nation. So I don't think we have a true gauge of what kind of quality team we're going to be. But seeing as how we played LSU in week one and we got Tulane in week two, we should have a pretty fucking good idea of how good we are after this week. We're going to run the ball. We're going to throw it. Well, Sylvester, we will... Sorry about that, folks. Sylvester Krim was smart. He would run the ball. But I'm, I'm just not sure that he's that smart. Because we were moving the ball on defense, or on offense last week. We were moving the ball on the ground. It was clear that we were moving the ball on the ground, and we stopped running. And we started fucking throwing interceptions. So I thought the defense was more physical last week. What do you think about tomorrow? I think the defense was worn out after the first half last week. And I think that we just had a total breakdown in the second half because the defensive guys said, well, shit. We're going to keep throwing interceptions, so what's the fucking point? I think there was a mental and emotional breakdown on the defensive side in the second half last week. I really think we could have held LSU to under 31 points. I thought the kicking game was better than it had been in a couple of years. Punting? All of it. I didn't think we made a lot of mistakes. I thought we played pretty good. Returns, kicks, everything. We, we covered pretty well. We should be good well. as fucking kicking as much as we've had to fucking kick over the last couple of years. <laughs> As much as we've had the punt, we better be fucking good at kicking. A lot of punting practice. A lot of punting practice. On the field. I don't even think we have to punt off the field. I think we get enough of it during the game. But, all in all, you know, you see some spirits here that are remaining high right now because we haven't played the ball game yet. So... We're really going to find out what we're made of after tomorrow. And I'm hoping that uh, I can drink some woo-woos in celebration instead of some woo-woos in depression. What, um, we're done with the interview, sir. One more question. Sir, one final question. I think we're done. Nah. Just one more. Please, just one more. I get paid by the hour, you know. Oh, yeah, I don't want to go there. Okay. Uh, pred crowd prediction. How many? I think it's going to be 14,000. <laughs> Good protection. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.